then others redrawing the table because it was not uh, clear or two again we have term then we have the others So for me to not uh, have another drawing for the uh, after ad, uh, advertising, I'll write them in different uh, uh, colors. Eh? So this is uh, before I'll use black pen, then after I'll use another pen so that I don't uh, uh, draw another one. So we have uh, Tamukola to Tamukola here is 0 0.85, 0 0.85, then this other one is 0 0.15, then others Tamu to Tamu, 0 0.25. Five and zero point seven five. So this is uh, before. Then, if you move to the that after the advertising and rebranding campaign, the transition matrix is expected to change as follows so i'll write that using a different ink so after this the same uh, the same graph yes but instead of drawing another one i just want to write the details in a different color so 0 0.9 so that color blue is after 0 0.1 there, we have 0 0.3, 0 0.7, that is the information that was there. So the blue color is for after advertising. Then we are told that the advertising and rebranding campaign is expected uh, to cost 20 million uh, shillings each year. There are 40 million consumers of the soft drinks in the market. And for each consumer, the average profitability is 5 shillings annually. So we have 40 million consumers. And for each consumer, the average profitability is 5 shillings annually. Then we are required to, number one, to the equilibrium state proportion of consumers using a Tamu Cola, Roman 1, before the advertising campaign, and Roman 2, after the advertising campaign. Then part B, we are asked to get the expected annual profit increase or decrease after the advertising campaign and then we are asked whether we would recommend the advertising campaign so remember i've said that uh, i was using the different uh, uh, colors to give us the probabilities for the different states uh the black one is before advertising and then the blue one is after advertising so let us what 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 we want to do to solve for part a part a of the question which is roman one 
the equilibrium state proportion of consumers using a term caller before the advertising and again after our part two is after advertising first of all what we have to know is that a customer given a customer a customer will either use the tamu caller or it may use the other product so that is what we have to know first so remember the transition probability so we solve for one the transition uh, probability for the first case before advertising we have 0 0.85 then 0 0.15 then we have 0 0.25 and 0 0.75 this is the transition uh, probability for that state now if we we can let the proportion that the customer will use tamu caller uh, product as x so remember at equilibrium the total probability will be one so if the proportion of tamu caller is x it means that now the proportion that the customer will use other product will be one minus x one minus x so that when we add now this to this we'll get uh, at equilibrium the probability being one so if that is the case then now if we multiply now x and then 1 minus x by the transition probability, this should be able to give us again the same uh, thing, x and then 1 minus x. That should give it should give us this. Are we are we together up to that point, members? Please feel free to ask for any uh, clarification. So we are multiplying this x one minus x. This is a probability on its own by the transition probability for the first state. And that should give us the same x1 minus x. So I want us to uh, open this uh, up. So if we open, remember for the probabilities, we are multiplying a row by the column. A row by the column. And that should give us this first column here. The product of the first row, first column, should give us the first element now in the other uh, probability. So if we do that, then we will have now uh, x multiplied by 0 0.85. So we have multiplied this x here by 0 0.85 plus now 1 minus x 1 minus x this we are multiplying it by 0 0.25 then we quit that to x because that is what we are interested in. So there is uh, no need of uh, multiplying again 1 minus x times this because what we are interested in is to get the value of x which if we expound this, 
then we should be able to get the value of x and that is our area of interest so x times 0 0.8.5 that becomes a 0 a point eight five x sorry that is eight zero point eight five x then plus then we open this bracket zero point two five times one is uh, zero point two five then we have zero point two five times negative x so that will be minus zero point two five x minus zero point two five x and all these we equate to x so the next thing is to collect the like terms like the x's we can uh, put them together so we'll have on this other side 0 0.25 then we equate this with now x then the negative 0 0.25 x if we take it to the other side it becomes a positive 0 0.25 x Then we have positive 0 0.85x. If it crosses the sequel sign, it becomes a minus 0 0.85x. Then now we collect the like terms. Uh, we'll have 0 0.25 on this side here. Then on the other side, we'll have x plus 0 0.25, that will be 1.25x uh, minus 0 0.85x, that will give us 0 0.4, positive 0 0.4. And therefore, our x, to get x, we now divide both sides by 0 0.4. So, 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.4. So, what is the quotient between uh, 0 0.25 and 0 0.4? Yes, Juliana Motei, if you divide, what will be the quotient? Okay, the okay, Rita. Where do I repeat, please? Uh, from uh, the start, Ama. From here. Yes, Rita. Yes. Uh, so this is. Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Rita was lost from uh, the start. So now uh, we have these uh, transition probabilities that we have been given. Remember, we are using the ones in black first because those were the transition probabilities from uh, before advertisement. So what we have done is that we had led the probability that a customer will use Tamukola product to be x to be x remember at equilibrium the total probability should be equals to 1 so if we let a probability that a customer will use tamu cola uh, as as x it means that now the probability that the customer will use the other product will now be 1 minus x because if we add this then the sum there should be equals to one so that is what we have done so what we want to find out is now the value of 
x. So to get the value of x, if we multiply these probabilities by the transition probability, which is 0 0.85, 0 0.15, 0 0.25, 0 0.75, it should give us the same probability again. That's why you find us uh, multiplying the, 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 this probability, the x and 1 minus x, by the transition probability and equating it to this probability here. So that is what we have done. So if we have equated it to this now, then it means that we have, for us to get the value of uh, x, we have to, uh, we have to now uh, try to uh, expound on the, 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 the two probabilities. So meaning that we'll multiply the first row by the first column and uh, the product there of the first row and the first column should give us the element in the first row, first column, which is the X. So we have multiplied X by 0 0.85 and that has given us 0 0.85 X. And then we are also multiplying 1 minus x times 0 0.25. And that is what we have done here. So to expand this, you now multiply 0 0.25 by 1. And then again, we multiply 0 0.25 by negative x. And that should be equivalent to x. So after doing this now, we have collected the like terms. The x's, we put them together. So we have taken this to the other side. So if it crosses the equal sign, it becomes a minus. For this negative 0.25x, if it crosses the equal sign, it becomes a positive. So we have x plus 0.25x minus 0.85x. So the x's, we have put them together. So if we work out this together, that will give us 0.4x. And then on this side, we have 0.25x. For us to get the value of x, we now divide both sides by 0.4. We divide both sides by 0.4. So the 0.4 will cancel with that. And then 0.25 divided by 0.4, that is what gives us 0.6. Two, five, as the value of x. So, uh, Rita, are we now together? Yes? Okay, thank you. Now, if x is uh, 0 0.65, it means that now 1 minus x will now subtract this from 1. So, what will be the value of 1 minus x. What will be the value of 1 minus x? So that will be 1 minus uh, 0 0.625. So what will that give us? Yes, Juliana, 0 0.375. Zero point three seven five. So these are the conditions uh, before advertisement. So we can, can say that the equilibrium, the equilibrium. So maybe I can write it in short. Equilibrium uh, state proportion. Equilibrium state proportion. Uh, equilibrium state proportion before advertisement state proportion before advertisement before advertisement will now give us then we write the two states so we have 0 0.625 
and the other one is 0 0.375. That is the equilibrium state proportion before advertisement. So I hope uh, that is uh, part one, part uh, A Roman one, A Roman one, where we were told to find the equilibrium state proportion uh, before advertisement. Then uh, th we do the same to the equilibrium state proportion uh, after uh, advertisement. Now we use, now the transition probability will not now be 0 0.85, 0 0.15. So I think we can write that in our next slides. So the transition uh, probabilities uh, for that uh, case will now be have 0 0.9. Then we have 0 0.1. Then uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.7. So again, we 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 let the probability that uh, a customer will use the term we call a product to be X, and the probability that will use the other. Uh, products to be 1 minus x so that when now we multiply the x by 1 uh, minus x we should be able to get the same at equilibrium so again we should be able to get x and 1 minus x so again, we expand this. We'll have x times 0 0.9, which is, maybe I can divide our board. x times 0 0.9, that is 0 0.9x. Then plus now 1 minus x. times 0 0.3 because we are multiplying the x by 0 0.9 1 minus x by 0 0.3 this should give us x and should give us x because now this other value here we will get it by multiplying the first row by the second column but since we are interested in the value of x even what we have here should be able to give us the value of uh, the value of x. So we'll have now uh, 0 0.9x if we expand this, 0 0.9x plus now 0 0.3, then minus 0. 3x then we equate this to x so we have just expanded this we have multiplied 0 0.3 by 1 that gives us 0 0.3 positive then 0 0.3 times negative x that gives us negative 0 0.3 x then we collect the like terms so we'll have 0 0.3 being equal to x. Then the negative 0 0.3x, if it crosses this equal sign, it becomes a plus 0 0.3x. Plus 0 0.3x, so we like that. Then... Uh, 0 0.9 x becomes a negative 0 0.9 x negative 0 0.9 x so this will be 1.3 x minus 0 0.9 
that will be 0.4x so we have 0 0.3 being equals to 0 0.4x so what will be the value of x we divide uh, both sides by 0 0.4 can you get the value of x Brenda Brenda Nyamu what is the value of x yes members Rita Okay, so the value of x there is 0 0.75. So if x is 0 0.75, what will be the value of 1 minus x? So you subtract 0. Point, uh, you subtract uh, 0 0.75 from 1. So what will that give us, Juliana? That is uh, 0 0.25. So therefore, we can say that now that the equilibrium state proportion, equilibrium uh, state proportion after advertisement, equilibrium state proportion after advertisement after advertisement is given by 0 0.75 0 0.75 0 0.25 0 0.75 0 0.25 any uh, question on how we have arrived at that any question before we move on okay thank you then now we can uh, move to part b of the question we look at our question our public uh, chat forum there we are told that the we get the expected annual profit increase or decrease after the advertising campaign and then we are asked to whether we can recommend the advertising uh, campaign whether we can recommend the advertising campaign remember now for the two uh, states now before advertising the equilibrium state that a customer will use tamu cola a product is 0 0.625 that is the state and then the probability that the customer will use a thermal color product after advertising is 0 0.75 so for us to make this decision first of all we have to determine the profit before advertising and then again we determine the profit after advertising now using these uh, probabilities now to get the profit before advertising profit before advertising remember in the problem we had been told that uh, there are 40 million consumers there are 40 million consumers and uh, the average profitability is five shillings if a customer uh, is using the 
product, five shillings annually. So to get the profit before advertising, we take the probability that a customer will use the term we call a product, which is 0 0.625, 0 0.625 times now the number of customers that we have annually, we have 40 million customers. 40 million customers times now the profitability a customer which is five so that should give us the profit before advertising then we get the profit after so can we multiply what we have here 0 0.625 by 40 million by five shillings then we get the profit after. So after again, we use uh, the probability which is 0 0.75. Times again, the number of customers are the same, 40 million. And the profitability per customer is five shillings. So that is what we compare. So the profitability before advertising there, 125 million. Juliana, Rita, that is. Rita, you've got 12 million 500,000. Can you check? 40 million has got uh, seven zeros, four and seven zeros. Eh? Then you multiply that by five times uh, 0 0.625. Peter, can you check? Can you check your... Can you, you, the, the product that you got? Okay, okay. Thank you. So you can see that. So this is uh, uh, 125 million. Okay, that is okay. Now for the profit after, now we, instead of using 0 0.625, the probability uh, before, now we use 0 0.75. Now we use 0 0.75. So if you use 0 0.75, that will be? Juliana has got uh, 150. One fifty million. Yeah, the same, 150 million. So as you can see for the two cases we have the profit before advertising being 125 million and the profit profit after advertising is uh, 150 million 150 million so the what we were asked is now to uh, determine now the expected annual profit increase or decrease. So from these two figures, has the profit increased or uh, decreased? Has the profit decreased or increased? From the two figures that we've got, we've got the profit before advertising as 125 million profit after advertising as uh, 150 million so as the profit increased or decreased okay so there has been a profit an increase in profit so there has been a 25 million 
25 million increase in profit there has been a 25 million increase in uh, profit so what would be the advert uh, the, the the advice that we can give to this company can we advise them to continue advertising or uh, we advise them to stop uh, advertisement yes what will be our advice continue advertising so we can adv uh, advise them to advertise so that is the best advice that we can give them that they continue advertising the product okay so that is uh, okay we can look at uh, example two again for those who doesn't have it i can also post it there so that uh, i do, do you have it do you have example two so that we go over it example two have you did you download the notes Yes. Now in example two, if maybe I read because if I post it again, it okay. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Brenda has it. Juliana has it. Now in example two, Rita, we are told that in a small town. Let me see if I try to post it whether it will be clear let me try and post it and see whether it, it will be clear Rita but if it is not I okay I think the tables is what is causing a big challenge but uh, I think okay so we are told that in a small town with three advocates x y and z each advocate knows that some clients switch back and forth depending on which advocate is available at the time the clients need one there are no new clients in the current legal market however none of the old clients are leaving the area so during a slack period or a slack period the three advocates the uh, collected data which identified the number of clients the number of clients each advocate had seen during the preceding year now table one summarizes the results of this study and table two summarizes the manner in which the clients were gained or lost so maybe let me see if i can uh, show the table for it huh? so let, let me see if we can draw that So we have advocate in the first uh, first column then we have clients at january so let me just write january uh, january 208 
then we have change during the year change during the year and then uh, lastly we have now the clients at uh, January 209 so that no, 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 sorry, sorry. This is 208. This is 208. Then we have 209 on this other side. So we have uh, X, Y, Z. Then on this side we also have X. This is the first. Uh, that is the first uh, table. No, this is the. This is not the first. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Now what I'll do. I'll draw just uh, both of them, but now this is 400 here, and the next one is 500. For the other one, we have not this. We don't have this X Y Z. We just have green. Those. Green and loss. So green seventy five. Yeah. So this uh, advocate X as at uh, 1st January 2008 he had 400 customers and he gained 75 so that will be 475 and then lost 50 it therefore means that now from 475 we subtract 50 and that will be 425 in 209 for advocate y advocate y had uh, 500 and he gained 50 make it 550 then lost 150 lost 150 sorry so meaning that uh, by 209 had 400 clients then z at 500 gained 100 lost 25 so that is 600 minus that five So that is what is in table one. Now in table two, we have the gain and loss summary. So maybe I can summarize so that we can move on later. So in the first uh, case, now for table two, what is different? Maybe we can just draw it. So that again, still we have. Uh, three pockets x y z the number of customer the, the number of customers are the same hundred by 
save language. Save language. Then now for we have games. In a game now we have three different the one for X, Y, Z, then we have loss. Again, X, Y, Z. So gain is from, we gain from, then we lose two. So we lose two. So like now in the first row here, X gained X gained zero from X gained zero from X. So this is the first row. Gained zero from X, but gained fifty from Y and twenty-five from Z. Then we move to Y. Y gained 50 from X, gained 50 from X, gained 0 from Y, and gained 0 from Z. Then Z gained 0 from X, 0 from X, Z gained 0 from X, then gained a hundred from Y and gained zero from Z. That is the information that we have. Then to the other one, X lost zero, lost zero, X lost 50, Y lost zero, Z. Then Y lost 50 to X, lost 50 to X, 0 to Y, so it lost 50 to X, 0 to Y, and 100 to Z. 100 to Z. Then lastly, Z lost 25 to x 25 x then 0 to y and 0 to z then we have 209 209 total uh, the number of customers Still 425 there. X and 400 for Y 575 Z. So that is the information that is there. So what we are asked to, to do that uh, now we have been given the gain law summary which we have written here okay so we are told to construct the state transition matrix that describes the above problem so these two here now to uh, construct that uh, we are going to have now okay in our next slide we are going to have now from on this side here from then we have 
x y from Then we have two in so in our first case here, and please uh, be attentive because this is very important. In our first case, we are looking at x from x to x so if you look at the two tables if we go back to the two tables here uh, the two tables here we have x to x x x and then we have now x has lost has gained 75 and x has lost 50 x has gained 75 and has lost 50 so from x to x what we are looking at is now the number of customers that we have decreased from x the number of customers that we have now lost that is the value that now we will uh, have now in our first case here and then to write it as a probability we'll write it over the total from x so x has reduced from 400 it has reduced by 50 by 50 meaning that now uh, the reduction there is now the probability there is 350 because we x has lost 50 of its customers x to x it has lost 50 of its customers remember as at january we had a total of 400 so if we are losing 50 then it means that the remaining customers will be 350 over the total to get it as a probability which is 400 so I don't know whether we are clear with that. Please, if if we are, if there is anything that you are not understanding, please uh, kindly let me know. We are using this table from X to X. So X has lost. We are in table one. Uh, table table one. This is where we can find. Uh, an item, a, 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 an advocate losing a customer and gaining a customer. It is from this, eh? from this first table. Now, if you look at this table, advocate X had got 400 customers at the beginning. During the same period, it gained 75 new customers, but lost 50 existing customers. So if we now come to now our transition uh, matrix or the probability here, from X to X, we are looking at now the number of customers that that particular advocate has lost. Now, when we will go to now Y to Y, again, we look at the same. Z to Z, again, we look at table one. So to get that, we are looking at table one. So if you look at table one, table one, uh, advocate X, as at January 2008, they had 400 customers. But now during the year, they have out of this 400, they have lost 50 customers out of these 400. So if we are looking at... Uh, the probability of uh, the place where 
x is changing from x to x the, we are looking at the existing customers out of the 400 how many did we lose we lost 50 so meaning that the remaining customers that we still have between january 208 to now january 209 we have 350 out of the 400 customers we are not looking at the ones that we have gained because the ones that we have gained we have gained them from either y or z you can't gain customers that you have already having so that is why for x to x we are looking at just the customers that we have we have lost i hope we are uh, clear there are we clear there yes members so so members so I'm saying if you're looking at XX or YY or ZZ, then you look at now the customers as at January 2008. And you look at the numbers that we have not lost. So in that case, you go to column one or table, not column one, but table one. This is where you can get that information. Because now from uh, table two, Table two, you will find customers that you have gained from other advocates and the customers that you have lost from the other advocates. So for XX, YY, ZZ, we go to table one. That is where we get that information from. So we uh, move on. Now, if we move on to this element here, in the first row, second column, we are having from customers from X to Y. Customers from uh, X to Y. So how many customers did we lose to Y? So in that case, now let us go to the other slide. So we are here. Customers from X that... Uh, we are moving to Y. So those are customers that we have not gained. Those are customers that we have lost to Y. Remember, if you look at uh, this, our matrix, this is our matrix, the values here, we are looking at the values from now X to Y. How many customers did we lose to Y? So that one you check at... Uh, table two table two it is not a gain but a loss two so x2 the number of customers that we lost to y are 50 out of the 400 so in that case now if, uh, if there we'll have 50 there 50 out of 400 have lost 50 to y then if you move to this element here we are having uh, to get the probability of losing customers from x to z so again if i show you the two columns the, the two tables we are losing customers from x to z and you can see there that from x we lost zero to z so we can write that as uh, just zero or simply zero out of 400 zero out of 400 so this we have it in a matrix form Please, if there is an area that is not clear, just ask. Then we are moving from Y now, the second row, from Y to X. So again, the customers that we, Y, advocate Y, lost to advocate X. So again, if I can show you the table there. So we are using table two. So why, how many customers did we lose to? 
now y we are losing to x so maybe if i can change the color of my pen that so y we are losing uh, to x so we use what is here so as you can see we are losing 50 we are losing 50 to x and it is 50 out of the total in the total number of customers were 500 50 out of 500 then now y to y so again y to y we move to the first table the first table the first table so why we had 500 customers and we have lost 150 meaning that the remaining customers that we'll have will be 500 minus 150 and that is 350 so remember we said why to why we check the first table 350 out of 500 okay then we move to y to z y to z again now we move to this uh, second table y to z so in y we are losing a hundred to z we are losing a hundred Z. So y to z, we now have 100 over 500. 100 over 500. Any question? Okay. And now z to x, again we move to table 2 we have z and we are losing 2x so z to x so we move until x there so we are losing 25 out of the total there which is 500 so we are having 25 out of 500 z to y again we go to table two to two z to y so lose two then y that is zero z to y is zero so we can write it as zero out of 500 or just zero as any number uh, if you divide zero by any number the quotient will still be zero then z to z we move to the first uh, table z had 500 customers and it has lost 25 so meaning that now z to z now we are having 500 minus 25 and that is 475 500. So that is the uh, transition matrix that describes the problem that we have there. So any question? So you can you 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 can further uh, subdivide this like if you divide 50 by 500, you divide 50 by 500. That should give you 0 0.1. Then 350 by 400, that should give you 0 0.875. 50 by 400, that is 0 0.12. This is zero here. Uh, 
bottom we have uh, 100 divided by this is 0 0.2. This is zero. zero, point zero five there, zero point seven. Then lastly, zero point nine five here. So that is how to construct the, the matrix that will describe that the above uh, problem that we had there. Any question up to that point? Any question? Okay, so I think if there is no question, we can stop there for today. I hope uh, Rita, you will uh, download uh, the nodes, they are in the system, then these uh, problems are uh, are there. So I'll also, uh, uh, also post the recording, because we were recording the lecture, so it will also be